my name is Bryce. Today I will be showing you how to add and delete equipment from the Operations Center. Let's get started. From our Operations Center map homepage, if we look to the left we will see a tractor icon. Once we click on this tractor icon, this will bring up a list of all the equipment that's within our account. For today's example, we want to get rid of a piece of equipment. So we're going to go to Flexible Draper and we're going to get rid of 635 FD. In order to do that, we need to go up right to the left of our name and click on this select box. That will now give us the option to select the equipment that we want to delete. Keep in mind we can do multiple pieces of equipment at once. I'm going to select 635 FD. I'm then going to go up here to our trash can. Click on that. It's going to prompt us to make sure that we truly want to delete the equipment. We do. So I'm going to go delete the equipment. That 635 FD has now been successfully deleted. Now, if we want to add equipment to our account, we would go to the plus box up here. Click on that. I'm going to show you two ways that this can be done. So if you had a serial number, which we do, you can type in that serial number in the pin box at the top and then go over and click our search box. That's going to auto fill out everything that we need except for the name. So it'll tell it that it's a John Deere. If it's a tractor or implement, it'll, it'll specify that here. In this case, it's a tractor 9630T. The only thing we have to fill out going forward with this method is the name. So we're going to call it a 9630T. This is how it will be represented in our account over on our equipment list. If that's all you need to add, you can go ahead and click add down at the bottom. I'm going to show you one other way to do this though if you do not know the serial number. So I'm going to cancel out this serial number. I'm still going to leave the name as a 9630T, but I'm going to manually add what piece of equipment it is. So we're going to go to select make. It's a John Deere. It is a machine, so click on machine. And then come over to the right and select the equipment type. This is a tractor. You can type in tractor to narrow up the search results. And then uh, go down here to select model. Once again, we're going to add a 9630T. You can scroll through all this if you feel like it, or we can just search 9630 and that'll narrow it up for us. Select 9630T. And then add, e add at the bottom. Okay, once we've done that, this will give us a confirmation that that equipment has been added. If you notice, there's no inches or no machine offsets or measurements in here just yet. So we need to add those manually. If we know those right away, great. We can then click on modify offsets. If we do not know those measurements right away and we gotta go out to the tracker and measure those and then come back in and add those, we can do that as well. So I'm gonna do that so I can show you how to get back into this page for offsets. So I'm gonna click OK. And then over on the left hand side in our equipment page, we will now have a 9630T under our tractor. Once we click on 9630T, that'll give us the option to go into our offsets. In the bottom right hand corner, you have to click on this edit to ungray anything. We see right now we can't put any numbers in here, so if we click edit, that now gives us the ability to add in our measurements change our connection type. If we had a lateral offset, we can input that. Um, the inline offset, you'd enter the measurement in here. Connection offset, same thing. Uh, GPS height, and then our turn radiuses and our turn sensitivities. Normally these two down here, I leave as the default numbers that come with uh, the equipment. After you get all of that entered, you can then hit save. That would successfully update all the offsets for that piece of equipment. We close out of this. Now all of our equipment has been updated. We've added a piece of equipment. We've deleted a piece of equipment. All of our equipment is now ready for a setup file. Thank you for watching. Connect with us by subscribing to Precision Ag Answers on YouTube and following RDO Equipment Company on social media. Visit rdoequipment.com for more precision ag resources and solutions.